Hey guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlocks. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Atomic Pi. So this is a $35 SPC mini computer. Uh, originally it was funded on a Kickstarter campaign and then they've rolled it out so you can now order it on Amazon or directly via the website. I'll put the links and everything that you need in the description. Essentially it's got a, a uh, x86 processor, so an Intel based processor. It's an Intel Atom. Not sure the exact model from memory. Um, it also has two gigs of RAM and it has a 16 uh, gigabyte um, eMMC like onboard um, EPROM so you can uh, load your OS and everything on there. So I'll just talk a little bit about the connectors and everything that you get on board and um, just have kind of a, a wander around, uh, show you before showing you the mining stats and everything. So at the back we have a HDMI connector, there is a BIOS, a, re -switch, a reset switch, a micro SD card slot, uh, here it says webcam, but this one is supposed to be uh, USB also. Single USB port, Ethernet, and then down the side you've got some other connectors and headers. I'm not too sure what all of these uh, ones do, to be honest. Um, I've not looked into the specs. Uh, there's also a CMOS uh, battery as well, so you can it remembers uh, date and time and things like that, but it's kind of a bit of a weird um, setup. It's not on the board, it's just kind of plugged in and then runs uh, via the heatsink. And then you've got some audio connectors. There's also uh, Wi-Fi uh, clips as well. Uh, this particular one, I didn't get the Wi-Fi aerials. So it does pick up Wi-Fi, but it's a very weak signal. Um, I'm powering it just, uh, or, or connecting it directly via the ethernet connection. So you'll notice it's got this uh, really quite good size um, heatsink on here. Uh, so during my testing with it, when I've been mining at full speed and using all of the power, the heat sink is really good. It dissipates the heat really well. So it does get um, slightly warm, but it's never you know scorching hot. So the heat sink is really good uh, for the CPU. That, uh, from memory, the specs, uh, the CPU only puts out or uses uh, around two watts. So the heat sink is really good. You're not going to need um, any fans or anything, which means it's really good for silent um, operation. Just take a look at the reverse side. We've got this. GPIO header and I'll talk about the power connector and how I've got that set up in just a moment and then you've got your uh, EPROM CMOS uh, connectors and also the uh, RAM on there as well so not much on the reverse side but that's it let's get it plugged in and I'll show you what it looks like on the desktop and how it looks when it's uh, mining but first that uh, power connector I'll, I'll just uh, share that with you first Okay, so a lot of guys are getting into a bit of confusion about how to power this and there's lots of different ways but this is the setup that I'm using so I've just got a plug-in DC adapter. It's a five volt, three amp adapter. The minimum is five volt, 2.5 amp, but this is the one that I'm using. And originally it just had like a barrel jack on the end, um, just like that, which I cut off. Uh, you can also get the barrel jacks to then um, like an adapter, but this is how I done it. And then I just manually wired. Apologies for the solder in there, it is pretty terrible. Uh, but on this side, so the nearest side, it is the positive connection. So you go to into pins, three and five so uh, where the arrow marker is there that's pin one so three and five is your positive and then the ground goes on the other side which goes into four and six connectors so sorry for the light and everything there and apologies for the soldering let me just show the other angle so basically it's on two pins two stacks uh, like that so that's how I've got it wired um, it's not really the best um, setup but it works fine I've just done it very quickly uh, just to kind of get everything running I was originally going to get a different adapter but that didn't turn up so this is what I'm using so I just thought I'd share that with you and then I've got a, you can see the bit of black tape there just to kind of cover it up and isolate it to make sure it doesn't short out when I've got it uh, resting on the ground so here we are on the Atomic Pi desktop you can also run it in headless mode, but between the two, I didn't really notice much performance difference uh, when it came to mining. So I've had it running since yesterday, uh, well over 12 hours. So what I wanted to do is just give it a good stability test. So you can see here in the terminal that we have been mining, uh, we've got lots of accepted shares and we've also got a hash rate, so 1,647. And we're currently mining a Verus coin. Uh, I've tested a few other algorithms, but this one seems to be the best uh, or the most optimal for this particular hardware. 
Uh, just referring back to the heatsink on the device, it's uh, slightly warm but not hot enough to burn you. So the heatsink works perfectly well when mining on this device. In terms of power consumption, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, it uses roughly around about 9 watts at the socket. Depending on the algorithm, sometimes it uses a little bit less, around 8.5, and sometimes as much as 10, depending on exactly which uh, algorithm that you are mining with. I've tested it on a few now, so I've tested uh, Varium, uh, Turtle and Loki, and also Uplexa. But really, for this particular hardware setup, from, from the initial test that I've done, Various coins seems to be the, the most um, efficient use of the hardware. So this is a normal desktop. If I just kind of um, exit out, you can kind of see the normal things as well. So the good thing here is that it is a full uh, desktop. Um, I just got experimenting. Um, I've installed Steam. I have not really tested any games on it just yet. I'm not too sure what works well under uh, Linux uh, and this particular hardware. But you've also got your um, like web browser and stuff as well. So you can use it just like a normal desktop. Same way you would uh, anything else, obviously, we'll just to show you kind of what things look like. We've got the iMineBlocks website, YouTube, and all your other normal sort of stuff. So it works just like normal. And then from here, you can open up a terminal window, or like I say, you can also run it in headless mode. And most recently, I've been mining Veris. So you can see the uh, the command there. I'm using the CC miner. It's the CPU version. Uh, normally, it's used for NVIDIA uh, GPU hardware, but I'm using a custom C uh, CPU version. And we'll just sort of start that up and you can kind of see how it runs and looks. Um, but yeah, that's it mining on the Atomic Pie. So really good little performer, um, especially when you consider the total uh, combined hardware cost. So yeah, I'm very pleased with it. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This has been me mining on the Atomic Pie. Really do appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and all of that other good stuff. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you on the next video.